I'm sure at this point you are aware, but if not, I just want to bring to your attention that now you have uh, 13 consecutive wins at welterweight. You have passed George St. Pierre. Who? George St. Pierre. Who? You seemed a bit reserved this week. What was it like for you to not just get in there and fight somebody you, you do care about and you have known for a very long time, but also the lead up and see your old teammates and training partners and, and be reminded of who you're fighting? He was trying to troll and, and things of that nature. I don't know whether it was to get the fight or it was, I don't know what it was for, but these guys don't understand that um, I'm like that guy. I'm that guy. When you say stuff, when you do stuff, any of that, I, t I, I will use it against you when we step in there. You know, don't feel my fire. Don't feel my fire. And uh, these guys, when you sign to fight me, just train and come in here and fight me. If you feel my fire, I will take it out on you when we get in there. Yeah, you were very calculating inside the octagon tonight. I do want to hear your thoughts on the first round. Um, how did you feel like that went, um, and what was the difference maker going into that second and third then? He, he counters heavy. He's got a lot of power. For a lightweight that moved up, he's got a ton of power. He fueled my fire. Why you believe Jorge Masvidal should be your next opponent? Who? Jorge Masvidal. Who? I'm being told to wrap. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Megan. Thanks. I appreciate it.